Sun Yi Jin is one of the most famous actresses in South Korea. She is as well known as the nation's first love because of her innocent schoolgirl image in the classic. She has everything, looks, a good career, a famous handsome man and a child. How was she able to achieve all this? Well, here is the Sun Yi Jin story. Born as Sun In Jin on January 11, 1982, in Daegu. Sun always knew she wanted to be in the acting industry, even when she was younger. She studied film at the Seoul Institute of the Arts, a prestigious school that's the alma mater of many other popular Korean actors as well. In an interview with Section TV, she gushed about how she was just an ordinary high school student that preferred to indulge in Korean rice cakes rather than studying hard to get good grades. In 2000 Yi Jean took on her first film project with Secret Tears when she was 18 years old. The movie centers on Gu Ho, a salary man who drives under the influence of alcohol and accidentally crashes into a young girl named Mi Jo. She ends up surviving the accident all thanks to her unexplainable powers that soon get out of hand. Yi Jean played a supporting role in the film as the voice of Mi Jo. After this experience, she went on to land larger roles in various television dramas like Delicious Proposal and Great Ambition. The biggest success of her early career was in the subsequent films Lover's Concerto and The Classic. Both were solid mid-level hits in Korea, and The Classic in particular, being a work of my sassy girl director Kwok Jae-yong, received wide exposure in regions such as Hong Kong and mainland China, and launched Sun into East Asia stardom. Sun further solidified her status as a Hallyu star in 2003 by taking the lead in TV drama Summer Scent. Her next films also gained massive popularity in East Asia particularly in Japan, A Moment to Remember, based on a famous Japanese series, set box office records in Japan and sold over 2 million tickets in Korea, and April Snow in which she co-starred with superstar Bae Young-jun was also a hit in Japan and China. Sun, who adorned a pure and innocent image in her films The Classic and A Moment to Remember, was given the title of the nation's first love in Korea. In 2006, she became the highest-paid Korean actress in Korean television series when she was guaranteed a talent fee of KRW 50 million, plus incentive, per episode for her lead role in SBS drama Alone in Love. In 2008, her portrayal of a polyandrous woman in My Wife Got Married bagged her Best Actress honors from the prestigious Blue Dragon Film Awards and other local award-giving bodies. She returned to television in 2013 in the revenge drama Shark, then headlined Blood and Ties, a thriller about a daughter who suspects that her father was involved in a kidnap murder case. Sun reunited with Shark co-star Kim Nam-gil in the 2014 period adventure film The Pirates, which received mixed reviews but was a commercial hit with more than 8.6 million admissions at the end of its theater run and won Sun the Best Actress Award at the Grand Bell Awards. The Pirates is one of the highest-grossing Korean films of all time. She then played Princess Gyoki in the biopic The Last Princess. The film drew positive reviews by critics and went on to become a box office hit, grossing 40.35 million US dollars worldwide. Sung Soyeon of the Korea Jomong Daily praised the film for being interesting enough to hold the audience's interest from beginning to end, even though she felt the screenwriter's imagination went too far in several scenes. She said major events from Princess Gyoki's life were portrayed well, and the film's biggest virtue was how it made audiences want to know more about her. Rumi Du of the Korea Herald said Sun Yi Jin proved herself a sensitive and technically refined performer. In 2018, Sun starred alongside So Ji Sub in the romance film Be With You, based on the Japanese novel of the same name. The same year, Sun returned to the small screen after five years with JTBC's romance drama Something in the Rain. The series achieved commercial popularity, and Sun received rave reviews for her performance. Sun also starred in crime thriller The Negotiation, alongside Hyun Bin, playing a professional negotiator working to save hostages. In 2019, Sun reunited with Hyun Bin in the global hit romance drama Crash Landing on You as a rich heiress who falls in love with a North Korean commission officer. The drama was a huge success and is the third highest rated Korean drama in cable television history.
Sun was scheduled to have her Hollywood debut in 2022, starring opposite Sam Worthington and filmmaker Andrew Nichols' work The Cross. However, because of the COVID-19 pandemic her agency requested a delay in filming. The same year, she starred in a television series called 39. Not only lucky in career but, as well lucky in love. Before even filming the crash landing on you, there were rumors that Sun and Hyun Bin were dating. However, in the beginning, their agencies denied the rumors. But once the crash landing on you came out, the rumors became even stronger, as they had such wonderful chemistry and fans would look for signs to prove that they were dating. On January 1, 2021 Dispatch came out with a report saying that Yi Jin and Hyun Bin are dating. In their report, it was said that they have been dating for eight months and would go golfing together and do friend gatherings. After the dispatch report, the couple confirmed that they are dating. Both fandoms were extremely happy to hear this news. Not that long after, on February 10, 2022, Sun and Hyun Bin announced their engagement in letters posted on their social media accounts. They married in a private ceremony on March 31, attended by their parents and friends of both families. On June 27, Sun announced that she was pregnant with the couple's first child, and she gave birth to a son on November 27. Sun Yi Jin truly has luck on her side, with her successful career and beautiful family, she is not showing signs of stopping. It was reported that she is going to come back to our screens, which is highly anticipated. Thank you for watching and see ya!